Hello, my name is Jeremy Boroff, and we're going to look at the women's health intervertation blueprint for the the PAEA has for the, your intervertation exams. The first thing we're going to look at today um, in this section is the big section is gynecology, and under gynecology, we're going to look at neoplasms. And the first neoplasm we're going to talk about is ovarian neoplasms. Now, ovarian neoplasms, the majority of the ovarian tumors are partially cystic and derived from epithelial cells. Um, ovarian neoplasms can also be uh, from germ cells, sex cord, and stromal or mixed types. Uh, leomyoma or fibroid is a, is a neoplasm of smooth muscle that is benign, usually from the uterus or broad ligament. Now, the thing to remember about fibroids are they're estrogen-dependent tumors. Usually when they're in, the patient goes into menopause, they shrink um, um, because it's estrogen-dependent tissue. Um, the majority of ovarian malignancies are from the uh, co-elmic epithelium with the papillary cyst adenocarcinoma being the most common. The mean age of uh, onset at the time of diagnosis is the 50 to 60 years old for ovarian cancer. Um, presenting symptoms of ovarian cancer include dyspepsia, early cyadia, uh, anorexia, constipation, and bloating. Um, these patients will come in with very non-specific uh, symptoms, um, and just be mindful of this. Uh, um, if suspicious, you need to get a pelvic ultrasound. Um, patients may present with uh, pleural fusion with ovarian cancer. The next neoplasm I want to talk about is uh, cervical carcinoma. Now, cervical carcinoma is unique in that there's a precursor lesion called the cervical uh, uh, intraepithelial neoplasia. And this is what we're looking for when we're doing pap smears. Uh, uh, CIN is as a slow-growing progression to frank cervical cancer. The pap smear is a non-invasive screening test where samples are taken from the endocervix and exocervix. Uh, colposcopy is a follow-up procedure uh, for diagnosis on pap smears that are positive. Treatments for precursor lesions include cryotherapy, laser ablation, the LEAP procedure, which stands for loop electrosurgical excision procedure, and cold knife comb biopsy with high cure rates. Cervical cancer is now the second most common malignancy of women due to early detection. Risk factors uh, for de uh, development of cervical cancer include inter early intercourse, multiple partners, early childbearing, uh, male factors that are that are high risk, venereal infection, immune status, oral contraceptives, cigarette smoking, intrauterine DES exposure, and the human papillomavirus virus exposure. Uh, human papillomavirus virus is, is the biggest risk factor, and we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, the, the area of metaplasia occurs before the uh, CIN between the old and new squamous columnar uh, junction, which is on as the SCJ. 95% of squamous epithelial neoplasia occurs in the area called the transitional zone. Types of uh, HPV associated with cervical cancer uh, include 16, uh, 18, 31, 33, 35, 39, 50, I'm sorry, 45, 51, 52, 56, or 58. Now, I would just not memorize these. I'd just be able to, to recognize them in some sort of uh, multiple choice answers. Uh, um, uh, pap smears are recommended starting at the age of first intercourse or the age of 18. Uh, the average uh, invasive uh, cervical cancer, uh, cervical carcinoma is the age of 50. The main of treatment uh, for invasive cervical carcinoma are radical surgical therapy and pelvic radiation. <coughs> the next thing I want to talk about is cervical dysplasia. Cervical dysplasia is an abnormal growth of precancerous cells on the cervix. Cervical dysplasia is classified as a high grade or low grade determined by the extent of the cell growth. Cervical dysplasia is associated with HPV. Um, removal, um, surgical removal of the abnormal tissue uh, um, is a treatment choice for uh, cervical dysplasia. The, the next thing I want to talk about is breast cancer. Uh, globally, breast cancer is the most frequently diagnosed cancer leading to, to, and the leading cause of cancer death in women. In the U.S., breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed uh, and the second most common cause of cancer death in women. Patients are uh, diagnosed or staging via the, the TNM staging system. Uh, early stage includes stage 1, stage 2A, or a subset of 2B. Locally advanced includes a subset of patients uh, with a clinical uh, stage 2B, uh, 3A, or 3C.
or three to three A to three C. Uh, early uh, stage breast cancer it can undergo primary surgery, lumpectomy or mastectomy, or breast to regional nodes without with or without radiation. Yeah, and a lot of us depend on the cell type and if uh, if they're HER receptive negative or positive. Following treatment, systemic treatment is offered based upon the tumor characteristics, tumor size, grade, and estrogen receptors, progesterone receptors, and the human epidermal growth factor, also known as the HER2 receptor. Luckily, advanced breast cancer is best managed uh, with multi-modality therapy, including systemic and local regional therapy. Um, breast cancer screening includes the following. Women 40 to 44 should start annual breast cancer screening with mammograms. Women 45 uh, to 54 should get mammograms every year, and women over 55 should switch to mammograms every two years with a continued uh, sc annual screening. The next thing I want to talk about uh, is a curious type of um, uh, breast lesion called a uh, simple uh, fibroadenomas. They are but nine solid containing tumors that have some glandular as well as fibrous tissue. Uh, multiple fibroadenomas can occur the same breast or bilaterally. Etiology of fibroadenomas is, is, is not known but thought to be hormonal. Um, they persist during the reproductive use and can increase in size in, uh, during pregnancy or estrogen therapy and may regress in menopause. Uh, fibroadenomas are usually found between the ages of 15 and 35. With complex uh, mi micro, I'm sorry, fibroadenomas, there is an increased risk of breast cancer. A physical exam usually reveals a well-defined mobile mass and a solid mass on ultrasound. It is not necessarily to excise proven fibroadenomas. If resumed fibroadenoma uh, is symptomatic or increases the size, then excision is mandatory to rule out malignant change. Rapidly growth increases for the submission of what's called a phyllodes tumor, and these are usually seen in uh, younger individuals. Next thing I want to talk about is fibrocystic breast disease. Fibrocystic breast disease is, is a breast pain that is attributed to fibrocystic changes. The pain may be cyclical uh, with menstrual cycle or hormonal changes. The terminology uh, breast exam is nodular and sensitive breast. These are considered normal physiologic changes. Uh, patients should have uh, regular mammograms and surveillance of these. The next thing I want to talk about is endometrial cancer. Uh, in, um, endometrial hyperplasia is abnormal proliferation of both the glandular and stromal segments showing altered histologic architecture. Uh, endometrial proliferation is an overabundance of, of endometrial, whereas endometrial hyperplasia involves the structural elements. Different types of endometrial uh, hyperplasia include cystic glandular hyperplasia, adenomas uh, hyperplasia, and atypical adenomas uh, hyperplasia. Important concept is continued estrogen stimulation uh, through either endogenous or exogenous simple sources. Uh, simple endometrial proliferation will lead to endometrial uh, hyperplasia. Risk factors for endometrial hyperplasia and endometrial carcinoma are anything that can lead to increase in estrogen in the environment. Diagnosis of endometrial hyperplasia or carcinoma is made by taking a sample. The most common ways to accomplish this are endometrial biopsy, DNC, or removing the uterus. The most common indication for endometrial sampling is abnormal bleeding, especially those for over 35. Most endometrial polyps are focal uh, accentuated benign hyperplastic processes. Uh, estrogen is implicated in the antecedent hyperplasia, however, the actual stimulus of malignant generation uh, to endometrial carcinoma is unclear. Endometrial carcinoma usually occurs in women that are postmenopausal. Most uh, primary endometrial carcinomas are adenocarcinomas. Special considerations for endometrial sampling should be given to those with uh, postmenopausal bleeding that occurs uh, after at least six months of amenorrhea. Endometrial carcinoma that spreads through the endometrial cavity and begins to invade the myometrium and endometrial canal eventually uh, into the lymphatics. Once the extra uterine, once there is extra uterine spread, the abdominal and pelvic cavity there can be spread uh, similar to ovarian cancer. Uh, common histological subtypes of endometrial carcinoma include papillary and serous uh, adenocarcinoma with clear cell adenocarcinoma. 
the big uh, prognostic factors uh, in the histologic grade of endometrial cancer is a grading system, uh, and we, we grade them G1 to G3. Surgical treatment is a cornerstone for endometrial carcinoma. The abdominal, cap the abdominal pelvic cavity is explored in a uh, total abdominal hysterectomy uh, with sphingo ophorectomy bilaterally is performed. Adjunctive therapy may include uh, external beam radiation and reduce recurrence. Uh, the first line treatment uh, of recurrent disease is, is hormonal and includes progesterone in a high doses. Chemotherapy can also be used. The, the last thing I want to talk about is, uh, in this section is uh, vaginal neoplasm. Vaginal neoplasm is the rarest of all gynecologic neoplasms. Uh, carcinoma in situ is the most commonly uh, in the third decade of life. Over half the patients with CIS uh, have an antecedent coexistent neoplasm of the lower genital urinary tract. Uh, treatment uh, options include laser ablation, uh, local excision, uh, chemical treatment with 5-FU, Total or partial uh, vaginectomy with application of a split full thickness skin graft is usually reserved for full retreatment failures. Invasive uh, vaginal cancer is usually uh, of squamous cell carcinoma, which is 95%. Radiation therapy is the mainstay of treatment for patients with uh, invasive surgical cancer or vaginal cancer. Uh, radical hysterectomy is combined with upper vaginectomy and um, pelvic lymphadenectomy can be used for uh, uh, upper vaginal lesion.